possible domestic disturbance at 1010 Lockwood Lane. Unit 213 responding to 1016 at Lockwood Lane, ETA three minutes. Two thirteen, copy that. I'll head to the back of the property. Bay County Sheriff's Office. Anybody home? Bay County Sheriff's Office. We received a noise complaint at this residence. If you're there, you need to respond or come out slowly. Bay County Sheriff's Office. We're investigating a noise complaint at this residence. Two thirteen. We got a back door wide open. Residence looks empty. I'm going to take a look. Requesting backup. Bay County Sheriff's Office. We're investigating a noise complaint at this residence. If anyone's there, you need to respond or come out slowly. Two thirteen. What's ET on that backup? Five minutes away. Two one three. Bay County Sheriff, is anyone there? Respond. 213, I'm gonna need immediate assistance. I have a possible 187. Bay County Sheriff, is anyone there? Respond now. Bay County Sheriff, respond now. Down the knife and let the girl go. Drop the knife and let the girl go. You don't have to do this. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Drop the knife on the ground now. Drop the weapon and let the girl go. Put the goddamn knife down! Thank you.
go, guys. Alright, just let us know if you see anything on the police scanner, because if anyone sees us, we're fucked. I'm on it. All right, let's run the title sequence here and Dylan try to find a way in. I'm gonna grab the crowbar. All right, I'm all set up here, guys. I think we can go through here. Seems loose. Okay, perfect. You ready, Harper? Yeah. All right, Cal, we're good. Roll it when you're ready. All right, the stream is live. We're good to go. What's up, everyone? And welcome back to another live stream. We have something extra special for you tonight. That's right. You asked for it, and now we're delivering. Tonight, we are going to be completing another haunted lock-in. And the location of tonight's haunt is... The infamous house on Lockwood Lane. So, stay tuned, because for the next eight hours, we are going to be live. And just remember, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and no way out. It's just us and whatever is on the other side. Rolling intro, three, two, one. Ever since I was little, I could feel a connection with the paranormal. When I was growing up, I had numerous paranormal experiences within my house. Some people called it a curse, but I think it's a gift. And today, with the help of my team, I will use that gift to seek out and document the paranormal. Welcome to The Other Side. You ready, Kai? Yeah, let's do this. <coughs> Ladies first.
This place looks like it's been untouched. Yeah, we're probably the first people in here since that night. It's not that bad. All right, guys, let's tell them about the house. As you know, we're always looking for the most insidious locations that we can find. And this one won't disappoint. The infamous house on Lockwood Lane, home of Lester Morgan. He was responsible for kidnapping and killing six girls just in this area. The abductions made national news. Local and FBI law enforcement worked on this case for months with no leads. But when they finally found him, he executed his last victim. Lester didn't have any previous criminal history. They say one day he just woke up and snapped. They say that he heard voices and that spirits told him to abduct and kill these girls. The same spirits that still reside in this house? Tune in and let's find out. All right guys, solid intro. Our followers are increasing. Let's just keep up the momentum tonight. All right guys, you know the drill. Let's unpack. All right, Harper, let's go ahead and find some places to get set up. All right, Dylan, try to get the GoPros online. Kai, start to unpack the equipment. Yes, boss. On it. Oh, and can we get some of the shit off the ground? I don't have liability insurance. All right, Dylan, let's get those GoPros set up. The frame's a little off, Dylan. See if you can't move it to the left a bit. Yeah, that's good. We're set, man. Make sure we stay the entire night, we're gonna lock ourselves in. The entire house is boarded up, and the only way in or out is this door right here. So we're gonna have our tech specialist and video director Cal come up and lock us in. He won't be back till sunrise, so that's about eight hours from now. All right, last chance to leave, any takers? I'm good here. I'm staying. Are you staying intern? I'll stay. Okay, Cal. Lock us in. See you when the sun rises. See you guys at six. Alright guys, we're off to a good start. We're getting a good amount of followers. Let's keep things going. Alright, that's everything. We should be ready to go live. Dylan, you got all the camera stuff set up? Yeah, everything set up. Ready to go? Alright, perfect. So we'll start with the tour and then we'll end up in the garage where he got shot. Kai, you know your lines? Yeah, I don't know why you always think that I don't read your scripts. I mean, everyone knows the story of this house anyways. It's improv it. Yeah, I remember last time you improv at Suicide House. You left a lot to be desired. I'm fine. It's not my first rodeo. 
All right, would you two settle down and just do the tour already? So tonight, we're in the home of Lester Morgan, AKA the Clown Killer. He earned that nickname after police shot him when he took the life of his last victim. Police continued to investigate the case, and the nickname caught on. Lester didn't always like to kill his victims right away. He tormented their poor souls. After he would torment them, he would chop them up and put them in the walls. His victims could have been locked in this very room, chained to these walls, with no escape, no hope. Police reports say Lester would keep his victims for days before he would finally kill them. There's suffering and pain all within this house. He was only caught when a police officer entered the home responding to a noise complaint. In a tense standoff, Lester slit the girl's throat right before the officer opened fire and took his life. This all happened right here, in this very room. So, let's head inside and see what we can find. Dylan, can you hit the extra lights? Yeah. Uh, guys, you might want to check this out. What the fuck? Holy shit. Do you think Lester wrote all that? What do you think it means? Hey, Kel, you getting this? Oh, I see it, man. Let's set up a stream. All right, you guys ready? Ready. So most kidnappers know their victims. They plan out their abductions. But not with Lester, which makes this case so bizarre. Lester was a loner, and for the friends that he did have, they testified that he wouldn't hurt a fly. So what made him really snap? What turned him into one of the most brutal kidnappers and killers of all time? Well, there is a theory, and it's one that borders the paranormal. The theory is that he was possessed when he carried out all of these heinous crimes. Such a weak man, such a weak soul. But then something happened. He became possessed. Did he sell his soul to a demon? Or the devil himself. And this. Doesn't this look like the writing of a possessed man? Solid start, guys. Let's get some of the gear unpacked and let's keep this pace going. Do we have to start here? What, are you getting scared, intern? No. All right, well, if you feel a sudden urge to abduct some young girls and chop them up in the bathroom, you let us know.
Are we picking up something? Yeah, it's definitely picking up something strong. Alright, let me see. Dylan, get over here. Quick little update for you guys. While we were setting up the equipment, something weird started to happen. This is an EMF reader. It detects fields emitted by moving electrically charged objects, aka ghosts. When we turned it on, almost immediately we got signals. I think it's picking something up right now. Alright, let's go check it out. Whatever the signal is, it seems to be coming from this room. Let's go. Alright, let's check it out. I can only imagine the terrible acts that have happened in here. There's nothing in here. Maybe we should just go to another room? I mean, could have just been an electrical thing. You know, sometimes the power lines, they affect that. There hasn't been power in here for years. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's just go back to the garage. How'd that look? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They're loving it. Let's keep up the good work. All right, good job, you guys. Good job, Dylan. Thanks. So I was thinking that we could move on to the voice recorder. Plus, I got the pre-recorded audio of Lester ready to go. It's too early for that. We should at least explore the house a little bit more before we start faking something else. Harper, we need to keep this momentum going. I know, but we don't need to fake this shit. This place is creepy enough. I'm sure we can find actual paranormal activity here. You do this at every house, and then we waste four hours looking for some paranormal shit, and you know what? Audience just goes right off the cliff. Listen, there's a reason our audience is declining. We peaked four months ago. We need to change something up. This one's different. I can feel it. Harper, we can't afford to fuck this up. This is our last chance. Otherwise, it's just back to our day jobs. I'm just saying, what if we find actual paranormal activity here and capture it on camera? Do you know how much that's worth? Do you know how famous you'll be? And if we don't, we're just going to bore our audience to death. Listen, this place, it's, it's the holy grail. I know, so just give me an hour. If after an hour we don't find anything that you consider good, we'll go back to what we have scripted. All right, I'll give you one hour. But if you don't find anything that moves the needle in that time, it's back to the setup scares. Okay, let's just move on to the voice recording. See if we can both get what we're here for. On it. All right, we're picking up steam now. Let's see what you got for us, Harper. We're going live in three, two, one. Welcome back, guys. Things are getting a bit weird. After what just happened, we're a bit on edge. But we can't give up now because if the spirits want to be heard, it's our job to capture them. Plus, we're locked in here till sunrise, so there's really not that much that we could do. And now we're going to move on to a recording using an EVP. This is an electronic voice phenomenon recorder, and it specializes in picking up frequencies and noises that are too hard for the human ear to hear. We ask the spirit a question, listen for a reply, and then we play it back. Are there any spirits here with us today? And now we play it back. Are there any spirits here with us today? Pretty cool, right? All right, we can go around the house just for a bit. But if we don't get anything, let's have that fake tape ready to go. Are there any spirits here with us tonight? Are there any spirits here with us tonight? Lester, are you here with us? Lester, are you here with us? Let me give it a try. Are there any souls that would like to communicate with us tonight? Are there any souls that would like to communicate with us tonight? 
Lester, are you here with us? Why'd you carry out such cowardly acts by taking the life of all those innocents? Lester, are you here with us? Why'd you carry out such cowardly acts by taking the life of all those innocents? Alright, one more room. If we don't find anything, let's fucking go. We seriously have to keep up the pace here. We're losing followers. Lester, stop being a coward. Speak up. Lester, stop being a coward. Speak up. Did you hear that? Turn the volume up. The hell was that? Is the volume up all the way? What the fuck was that? You fucking faked that! You said you'd give me an hour! I didn't. What? I didn't do that. Then what was it? I don't know. The blank tape's in here. The fake one's right here. What? Was that you? Do you guys think I would know how to do that? Okay. Okay, well then we need to grab all the equipment. Dylan, grab the lights, the boom, everything. This could be the epicenter. On it. Jeez, dude. Camera's a fucking rental. My bad. You're lucky we don't have to pay for that wall damage. Wait a minute. There's something in here. Yeah, the inside of the wall. No, it goes back further than that. Holy oh, shit! What? There's something in there! What's wrong? What happened? <laughs> oh my gosh, we hit the jackpot! They are going nuts for this. Let's get set up inside that room. Let's definitely take advantage of this. Kai and I made quite the discovery. We found a secret room. How long has this room been hidden? Did the cops find it? And has it been untouched since Lester was alive? Let's investigate and find out. All right, guys, let's set up and make this as creepy as possible. I think we can really make a shit ton of money tonight. I can't believe we found all this. This is some weird shit. I could get so many viewers for this. What kind of creep puts masks on mannequins? Why would he keep all this? I don't know. Maybe the guy liked Halloween? Why wouldn't the police take any of it? Maybe... Maybe they just never found the room. They should have just burnt this place to the ground. Yeah, but they didn't, so now it's ours to monetize. You know what? It'd be a great time to ask the viewers what the first challenge would be. Hey, Cal, pull the viewers. All right, the viewers have spoken. They want the lock-in challenge. The viewers have voted, and Kai is going to do the lock-in challenge. Good luck. Don't get too scared.
All right, Kai, it's showtime. Three, two, one, you're live. Yeah. All right, Kai, it's five minutes, redo this. Redo this, five minutes. Do it with fans. It's five minutes, can I redo this? This place is so creepy. You gotta have something to say. Nothing? Come on. Don't leave me hanging. I need something to work with. No? How about you? How about now? Come on, don't you be famous? We have over 100,000 subscribers. Nope, doesn't mean anything to you. Hey, if you guys do well enough, we'll invite you on a podcast. How about that? Come on, guys. <laughs> Kel, how many times did I tell you let go of the button? <laughs> Kel, I can't hear you when you're doing that. Kai, you gotta push the button down, man. We've been over this. I can't hear you. Kel! What the hell? Kel! Kel, come in. Come on. Kel, come on. This isn't funny. Kai, I, I can't hear anything, man. Like, I... Hello? Uh, Harper? I... Yeah, you're not scared of the dark now, are you? What? I think the ma- I think the mannequins just moved! Harper? No. The, uh, Harper? I think. Kai, you don't look so hot in there, man. You, you doing okay? Harper, let me out now! Harper! Harper, let me out! He's kind of screaming a lot. Should we go check on him? Nah, he's fine. He does it for views. Besides, if he really needed help, he'd radio us. Let me out now! Harper! Harper! No! This isn't fun anymore! Let me out! No! Harper! Harper, it's coming! Jesus, Kai, you are peeking right now. Calm down. Help me! Help me! The mannequin just moved! What do you mean? It was right here, I swear! In the same spot! No, no, get me out of here now! <laughs> you guys messing with me or something? That wasn't funny at all. Dude, calm down. No one's pranking you. No. No, Kel, you play the footage. You got the video, right? I'm looking at the video now, man. You're flailing around a bit, but the mannequin doesn't move. You feeling all right? Is this house getting to you? No, this, this can't be. No, it was dark and maybe I, I, I just couldn't see. 
Okay, well, if you want to take a break, I can do the next one no, by no, myself. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's just, let's just move on to the next challenge. Alright, Kai, if you say so. Looks like the viewers want the Ouija board. Alright, Kel, we're on it. Alright, well, just let us know if you start hearing some voices, because I am not down for the shining experience. We have a lot to do. Where do you think we should set up? I'm thinking no, we should. No, let's not shoot in that room, okay? Why? You said you saw something in there. Let's just shoot in the garage. I mean, it's too crowded in there, anyways. Okay, um, Dylan, let's grab the equipment and Kai and I will start blocking it out. Dylan, get this. Dylan, get that. God, I can't wait to be done with these shitty gigs and do my own stuff. These fucks don't know what they're doing. Let's do this. All right, Cal, we're ready. Camera one live. Camera one is live. All right, guys, we got three angles for this. Let's make it happen. All right, and now we're on to our next viewer requested challenge. The fan favorite, a Ouija board. While we have been getting a lot of paranormal readings throughout this house, we have not been able to get in contact with the spirits just yet. Thus, we are going to bridge the gap between the living and the dead by opening up a communication channel with the other side. So just like and share, and we're about to begin. Guys, we finally have traction again. It's critical that we keep this pace up. So if it gets stale, I'll let you know. And just improvise something, okay? So we have the board set up and we are ready to start. Before we begin, let's explain what we're doing here with this board. This isn't a regular Ouija board. It's over 50 years old and comes directly from the voodoo capital of the world, New Orleans. That's right, it took us a while to find an authentic board like this. As you can see, we've lit the room up with candles because sometimes the spirits like to communicate with us by flickering the lights. It's their way of gently letting us know that they're here with us. Once we've opened up a communication channel with the spirits, we'll start asking questions. Ours and our viewer asked questions, which come directly from you. So if you have any questions, just hit the chat box and Kel will make it happen. And if you ever use a Ouija board, you have to say goodbye. If you don't say goodbye, the spirits are known to linger in your house. There's even been reports of spirits following people for the rest of their lives. And trust us, you do not want that. So always say goodbye, do not forget. Alright, what do you say we begin? As friends we gather, our hearts are true. Spirits around us, we call to you. Are there any spirits here who would like to be heard? Are there any spirits here whose innocent lives were taken from them? Sometimes it takes the spirits a little while to get the energy up and for them to feel welcomed because this is probably the first time that they're communicating to the side since they left it. All right. Let's ask some viewer questions. Question number one. I want to know what it's like in the afterlife. All right, first viewer question. What is it like to be in the afterlife? Did you move it? Uh, no. All right, let's, let's try this again. What is it like to be in the afterlife? E. M. P. T. It feels empty. Whoa. I think we opened the channel.
Good shit, guys. Now they want to know who they're speaking to. To whom are we speaking with? Are you one of the victims? No. Who are you? What's your name? E. S. T. E. R. Are you fucking with me? I swear it wasn't me. Why are you two fighting? Just keep going. If this is Lester, why did you do it? Why'd you kill the girls? No? You literally had the blood of one of the girls on your hands. If you didn't do it, if you're innocent, then who did? Um. A. D. E. E. M. Made you? Who made you do it? D. E. e. B. I. L. Devil? So the theory's true. I think we're breaking through here. We're confirming that Lester was indeed possessed. I swear to God, Kai, if you're fucking with- None of this is me. What the fuck? What's going on? Holy shit. What the fuck? Want, want what? Us, you want our souls, Kai? I do not like this. Did you guys plan this? We need to get the fuck out of here. No, keep rolling. Do not cut the footage. We need to go. No, just stay. We need to see what happens. This is not good. Dylan, you better not fucking leave. Kai, get out! Get out! Oh, shit. Holy shit. We're gonna be fucking rich. Kel, open the fucking door. I'm done. Dylan, just slow down. No, you saw that. You saw that too. What the fuck was that? There's gotta be an explanation, man. I mean, maybe it was chemicals. I, I don't really know, but there's candles right there. Candles, Kai? Fuck you! Harper, we need him. Dylan! Look, okay, okay, just take a deep breath and calm down. I don't know what happened back there, but we finally got it on camera. Harper, we shouldn't be messing with this shit. We need to leave. Leave? Why would we leave? This is literally the moment we've been working for. Kai, how you holding up, man? Man, not so great. Harper's talking to Dylan right now, but he's pretty shooken up. You stay, I'm out. I didn't sign up for this. This is exactly what you signed up for. We agreed that you would stay here the entire night, and I swear to God, if you leave now, you won't see a cent. I don't give a shit about the money. What happened back there was dangerous. This isn't safe. We have to finish the lock-in. You know that, right? I know, I know, but... We only need three more hours out of him. Look, just trust me, okay? Nothing bad is gonna happen to you tonight. We have three hours left till sunrise. You really wanna leave now? It's not fucking worth it. How do you know it's not worth it? We just made more money in the past hour than we have in the last six months. And you know what? It's not even about that. It's not even about the money. It's not even about the stupid streaming channel. 
This could change our lives. It could change your life. Don't you want to be a part of that? I mean... If you leave now, I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. Kai and I are going to stay here and finish it out just like we always have before you got on board. And when a TV show picks us up, don't come crawling back for a job. So what's it going to be? Are you going to leave? Are you going to stay here and help us finish what we started? We're at half a million viewers right now. We've made more money tonight than we've made combined in our entire fucking time doing this. This is the opportunity we've been looking for. We have to do the next challenge. Yeah, you're right. I can do this. Guys, we only need to stay for about three more hours. I just talked to Kel. We have about 500,000 viewers right now. I think this is our opportunity. We need to do the next challenge. Fine, I'll stay. But I'm not doing another fucking challenge. Okay, you can wait by the door and Kai and I can finish out the night. Agreed. Fuck yeah, we're back in business. Let's fucking go. This is it. This is fucking it. Welcome back, guys. We're a little shaken up, but not deterred. We've experienced a lot of things that we can't explain, but we got it all on camera. And we're not done yet, because we still have one last challenge. We're about to perform a seance. And it's just the right time, because it's almost 3 a.m. Also known as witching hour. So we're going to set up and then get rolling. So don't forget to like and subscribe, because this will be our best challenge yet. And you guys get to watch it live and uncut. We really have to do this? Yeah, we're doing it by the books. Plus, it's good for show. This is it, guys. Just one more challenge, and we're getting out of there with a shit ton of money. We're going live. Three, two, one. All right, as you can see, we've set up the ritual. This is our most dangerous one yet, because we're inviting the spirits into our realm and for them to appear to us. We've used salt to protect us from the spirits, but it could still be very dangerous. So we're going by a strict procedure, because a spirit could latch onto one of us. And at that point, only an exorcism could save us. But don't worry, we know what we're doing. Ready for this? I am. Bottoms up. Cheers. All right, so now both of us have the concoction in us. It allows us to bridge the gap between the living and the dead. So sit back and watch as we try to communicate with Lester or any other spirit that's here. Konamur konkinjer kum lester utiter vigore.
Yes, we'll be scum. And now we wait. Nothing's happening. Just give it some time. All right, let's just do it again. Guys? Where's that coming from? The fuck? Very funny, Kai. You got me to come to this fucking garage. Connemer, Conkinter, Com Lester, Utter, Volumus Puriscum. Still nothing. Just one more time. No, we're out of time. It's past 4 a.m. It's past witching hour. Come on, third time's a charm, I promise. All right, time's up, Kai. We're fucking dying right now. Let's just fake something, go out with a bang, and then be done with this shit. Get out of that stupid fucking circle. What the hell? Kel, cut the feed. We're moving somewhere else. Hi, listen. No, we have a lot at stake right now and nothing's even happening. You remember the Ouija board that took a bit. It's not like we're gonna call them and they're gonna come on command. No, we, we need to do something else. Like, we could do the projector scare, maybe something spooky. I... You said you'd give me a chance. Yeah, that was an hour ago. That was your chance. Well, look, don't break the circle. Let's at least do this properly. I thought there wasn't any power. What the fuck? No, I'm done wasting time here. I'm moving on. Uh, uh. See? Nothing happened. Kai, get back in the circle. I'm fine. There's nothing here. Get back in the circle, Kai. No, we need to go set up somewhere else. It's just not getting the job done. Kai, get in the circle now! What the hell? Kai? What the fuck? What's going on with Kai? Kai, what the fuck I don't happened? know, he just collapsed! I need to call Kai! I don't have my phone, are you okay? Tell Kel to call 911! Fucking do something, Dylan! Kel, call the police, Kai's dying! Fuck! He's dying, we have to do something! He's having a fucking seizure! I don't have 911, my friend, he's having like a, a seizure, or like some type of allergic reaction. I don't know what to do! Kai! But he's, he's Kai. on the ground, he's like, Kai. no, no, I'm not with him, my friends are with Dylan, him, but Dylan, help! I need, you, I need you to send someone help right now! You don't know what's going on here, please, please! <coughs> Kai, are you okay? I'm fine. What? What happened? You passed out and had a seizure. What the fuck is going on in there, guys? Is he okay? I have 911 on the phone right now. I don't know, he's talking. Shit! Uh, he's 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 fine now. Um, he's kind of like a little dazed or something. He just kind of passed out. He he wasn't really eating too much food. We're, we're gonna take him to like an urgent care right now. So please just don't send any like ambulance or anything. He doesn't have any insurance. So like just we're we're, we're gonna take care of him. I'm I'm sorry for taking up your time. Just, just ha have a good night. Fuck me, dude. Are you okay? Do you remember anything? All I all I remember is we did the ritual and then then I'm here with you. We need to get you out. You need medical attention. No, no, I'm fine. I just need some water. No, we need to get you out of here. We all need to get out of here. Cal, come open the door. Oh, for fuck's sake, guy. 
God, we're so damn close. <laughs> Come on, man, let's get out of this fucking house. All right, I'm on my way, guys. Let's just clean up that pentagram in there. The cops might be coming in. I'd rather not explain that. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, just a little shaken up. All right, we need to get out of here. It's not worth it anymore. Kel, where are you? All right, guys, I'm here. Okay, well, hurry up and get us out. You sure you don't want to stay, Harper? Just three more hours. Yes, Kel, just open the door. Oh, fuck me. What? The fucking key broke. This isn't funny, Kel. Stop joking with them. Stop fucking joking, Harper. This piece of shit key snapped. It's not fucking budging. This can't be fucking happening. What do you mean? We're just trapped in here now? Well, if the lock's still on it, what do you think, Harper? Well, go find some tools! It's fucking 4 a.m., Harper. Where the hell am I gonna find anything open? What do you mean, Kel? You got us into this mess now. Get us out. It's fucking believable. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna get out. Maybe there's another way out. No, everything else is boarded up. But we can... Where's Kai? Fuck, Dylan! I told you to watch it! I thought the fucking door was gonna be unlocked. He was right behind me. Well, we have to go find him. I don't want to go back in there. We can't just leave him in here. He's unwell, Dylan. Fuck. There's gotta be something in here. Come on. Fucking A. Anything, come on. Fuck! Oh, there's gotta be a Walmart or something around here somewhere. Come on. Closed. We can't find Kai. What the hell do you mean you lost Kai? I don't know. He just wandered off back into the house. Can you see him? Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, Harper, I can't look for tools at four in the morning and find Kai. Oh, Jesus. Guys, there's a tiny fucking house. Where could he be? I'm not seeing him, Harper. How is that possible? We have cameras in every room. The whole house should be covered. I don't know. Maybe he's hiding or some shit, but he's not on the video feeds, okay? I swear I put cameras everywhere, just like we mapped out. He's not here. Okay, well, we need to find him. Something's really wrong. Let's split up. You go to the garage, I'll go to the other rooms, and you just let me know if you find him. Okay. Oh, what the... Fuck, Dylan, how did you set this shit up? I don't see him down here. Guys, I'm losing the video feed. It's going all fuzzy on me. Oh, come on. What the fuck did you do? Kel, do you have eyes on him? Listen, I don't know where he's at, but it's a tiny house, guys. How can he be hiding? Just fucking go in every room and you'll find him, okay? I don't know where the fuck he went. Oh, come on. What the fuck is going on? Any luck, Kel? Oh, what the fuck? Harper, what the fuck are you doing? They're static like crazy. Can you say that again? All that's coming through is static. Jesus. Kai, come on. This shit isn't funny. Harper, I can't hear you. Turn that shit down. You're fucking making me deaf right now. I'll change the frequency, it's picking something up. Harper, clear your goddamn channels, I can't hear you. Fucking A, come on! Damn it. I knew we shouldn't have bought the fucking cheap mics. What the fuck is going on? Kel, 
Cal, change the frequency. The radios are fucked. Kai, come on, man. This shit isn't funny. Kai, is that you? Jesus Christ, what the hell? Did you find him? No. I tried to radio you. No, the frequencies are down. I'm trying to get a hold of Cal, but he won't answer. We could be. We've searched everywhere. Maybe we should go back to the garage. He could be hiding in there. No, we should get out of here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Just leave him here. Fine. Kai, are you in here? Kai? Kai, where the fuck were you? Oh, thank God. Kai, where have you been? Are you okay? Okay, all right. Uh, come take a seat. Okay. Kai, are you okay? You're really scaring me. Kel, get us the fuck out of here now. I don't even think you can hear us. The radios are down. Okay. Do you need anything? Alright, just stay here and watch him. Harper! I'll be right back. You doing alright, man? Do you need anything? Alright, look. Harper's gonna go get the water, and then Kel will be here with the bull cars. And we can all get out of here, and you'll be okay. So just be a crazy story. Holy fucking shit, Kai! What the fuck is going on? Jesus fucking Christ, what's fucking you doing? Holy fucking shit! Oh god, oh god! Fucking hell! Oh, fuck, what the fuck? fuck. Harper, Harper, fucking it! Harper, fucking it! He's fucking dead! What the fuck is going on? What the fuck am I just seeing right now? Fucking Christ, guy! What the fuck are you doing to Dylan? You just fucking murdered him! Okay, I got to Fucking Harper! Fucking Harper, you gotta get something out of it! Get the fuck out of here! What's that one? I need to fucking help right now. The fucking front scum's head fucking smashed it. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but they're fucking trapped inside. Please, head head awkwardly. I need fucking help right now. Jesus fucking Christ, God, what the fuck, man? Harper, Harper, can you hear me? Kelly killed him. He's gone mad. Oh my god. Listen, I, I I called the cops. They're on their way now. They're gonna be here any minute and we're gonna get you the fuck out of there. Please Kel, get me out. I don't wanna die. But we're gonna get you out of there. We're not gonna let anything happen to you, I promise. No, there's no way I can get out without him seeing me. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Go and grab the night vision camera. I can still see that feed. It's dark in there. He, he can't see you. And I can let you know if he's nearby. 
We just need a few more minutes, and then we're gonna get you out of there. Okay. Hey. Good, just just go now, okay? Go quickly, but go quietly. All right, you're you're safe. Just get the, get the camera so we can turn off the light. That he can't see you. If he can't see you or hear you. We'll have the cops here in any any minute. And Okay, I can see your feet, Harper. The cops are gonna be here any minute now. Trust me, we're, we're, we're gonna get out of this. I promise. All, right, all, all you need to do is find some place to hide. And I'll let you know if I see him, okay? It, it's dark in there, he, he can't see a thing, trust me. He's back in the house, okay? Just move very slowly, Harper. Don't make a sound. It's the only way he'll find you. Alright, you're good, Harper. Just, just slowly move. Don't go too fast. Don't make too much noise. He can't see anything, Harper. He's, he's completely blind. Just don't make a sound, and it'll be absolutely fine. We're gonna get you out of here, I promise. Sudden movements, okay? Just slowly back away. Step back, okay? Just slowly move back. He can't see you. Slowly back away. Harper! Harper, I'm coming! God, God, fuck 
Nobody budge, please. I made a mistake. I should have never come here. Fucking budge, Jesus Christ. My team and I, we came here trying to find paranormal activity and we found more. And now most of us are dead. Harper! Harper, I'm over here! Harper, come on, we gotta get the fuck out of here now! He's possessed. Harper, come on! If anyone ever finds this, burn the place to the ground. Just burn it. Harper! Oh, fucking shit, come on! Harper, come to me if you can hear me! Kai? Kai, say the fuck back, Kai. Kai, it's me. Kai, it's Kel. Kai. Kai? 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 I'm gonna fucking die in this fucking window! Kai, what the fuck? What the fuck? Alright guys, you are not going to believe where I am right now. Take a guess. I am currently in the famous murder house where three kids ended up killing each other, all while live streaming. The feed was basically removed from the internet and it's super hard to find. So I had the idea to drive to the house and try to recreate that fateful night all while capturing it on my camera. So get ready guys because we're going to find out exactly what happened. Did they go insane and murder each other? Or was it something more sinister at play? Stay tuned because I'm going to be live streaming all night.
was bored out of my mind So I invited my friends over to come watch some DBS films They said they haven't watched none of these So I popped on the girl in cabin 13 Saw my boy Carl and Frank in that movie And they said that these movies was unseen That they wanted to go take a walk into the forest Then they saw Mo. Then they ran for a while right up to the window house Stop for a while just to chat with my boys like, How you doing, Kellen? How you doing, Brennan? Hey, said they wanted to go to a haunted house like the Willow House. <laughs> I told my friends it was haunted until Kellen put that Frank mask on. Then they ran back into the forest. I never seen them run so fast. Well, damn, they just ran into Carl. I just ran into Carl. Oh, look at, look at behind you. There's Frank the Demon. Yeah, yeah. DBS Films, Best Film Company. Yeah, Best Film Company. Way better than all these other ones. And more social with their fans, unlike anyone else. And a phone call, it looks like it's from Frank the Demon. Working with Carl the Clown, you never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah.